Hello, best friend, and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having the, ooh, okay, Ariana Grande moment. I hope you're having a fabulous day. If this is the first time that you're watching my channel, my name is Sebastian, and I welcome you guys with open arms. I do pop culture videos every day. So if you're looking for a new messy best friend, well, girl, you have found me. So grab a snack, grab a drink, hit that subscribe button. I would be very grateful. Best friend, we gotta talk, we gotta talk, we gotta talk. How are you guys? I hope you're having a really good day so far. Um, by the way, when I say I'm your new messy best friend, it means that, you know, I want to be that in your life. Like you would have somebody who FaceTimes you all the time, who's spilling the tea, who makes you laugh, who who embarrasses them, them themselves just to make you laugh. Like that's who I want to be for you. Okay, bitch. So hopefully you can do that and hit that subscribe. It's like a virtual pat in the back. And let me know what you guys are doing tonight. Um, I'm going to a holiday party, which I'm very grateful and thankful. I love who, you know, the people who invited me. They're amazing. But I just get so much anxiety after, you know, before a public, you know, like I have to be social. I don't know why, you guys. And I, I wasn't really like this when I was younger. But the older I get, the more, like, social anxiety I have. Once I'm there, I love it. But beforehand, you know, like, I just, my stomach, girl, I just, I don't know what to do with myself, bitch. Um, but, yeah, if you have any tips, I, I've been asking you in all my videos. Because I don't know who watches what video. That's why sometimes I have to repeat myself, bitch. But um, if you have any tips and tricks, let me know, please, because, <laughs> you know, white wine helps. Maybe I, maybe I need to switch from my green tea to some white wine, okay? Mm. Speaking of public outings, um, I feel like I'm in, this is like my morning show. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to Live with Sebastian. Um, no, but for real, how you doing? Oh, I miss Wendy. Um, okay, so speaking of public outings we got to talk about selena gomez and miss tay 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 if i was friends with her i would do like hey tay tay um miss taylor swift so um a lot of people are talking about selena gomez's breakdown on social media which i find so funny a lot of people think she got hacked a lot of people think this it's been two days since this happened trust and believe she did not get hacked if she would have gotten hacked it would have been said by now you know she would have said something by now she was not hacked she was just fed up by the fucking haters but it's so funny because people are saying that every time that something happens with selena taylor sort of comes to the rescue and like they do this you know outing and that kind of like deletes everything but the issue here is like I don't think standing up for yourself is wrong. I don't think that putting your foot down is wrong. I don't think that setting your boundaries is wrong. And I don't think that you having to speak up and being a little bit more firm is wrong. If you keep on going through life, allowing people to believe that they can mess with you however they want, they're gonna continue and you're gonna still continue to be the butt of the joke, okay? And that's just not what we're gonna be doing in 2024. So if you have to get firm and you have to stand your ground and, and, and throw up your fucking boundaries, then so fucking be it. And if people don't like it, it is what it is. I recently had to do that with people that I love, you know, to really... Um, make sure that my boundaries and my, you know, my, my boundaries needed to be respected. And if they, and if it wasn't, I don't have any issues saying goodbye. You know what I mean? And I think it's very important for you to do that. So if this, if this, if you can relate to this girl, take this as your sign. Okay. Don't let anybody walk all over you. And that's why I was like, I don't think she's hacked. I just think she's messed. You know, she's, she's, um, She's fed up. You know what I mean? I don't think she's messed up. I don't think she had a nervous breakdown. I don't think she got hacked. I don't think, I don't even think she was drinking. I think she just said, you know what? What we're not going to do is we're going to not going to keep on talking shit about me or, or anybody who I allow in my life. Like, you know, allegedly her new boyfriend, Mr. Benny Blanco. Okay. Um, and then, you know, regarding Taylor, I think Taylor Swift is that type of friend who, you know, who does not judge you, you know, but who also tells you in your face, you know, what they think. You know, we all need that person in our lives who, yes, will cheer us on, but will not blindly lead us into doing or keep on continuing to make bad decisions. You know what I mean? So having that one friend that can stand up to you with love and respect, and you know that it's coming from a good place, that is so important. And I think Taylor Swift might be one of them. And I, I think also Selena's that for Taylor. And I think that's why their relationship has survived so much, you know? And 
Listen, you guys, you know one thing that I've actually like really thought about? How fun would it be, right, to like get drunk with like Selena or Taylor or whatever they feel comfortable with? Like if we're all drinking, we get a little tipsy, you know? I would just, I, I, I'm dying to see if like who they talk about, you know? Like, like I really would love to see it because they're really good at like, you know, being very professional. This, I want to see them messy. Like, I want to see them, like, at a slumber party with, like, you know, like, drinking or being tipsy or at a club, you know, and I want to hear what they're talking about, you know. I want to hear Selena Gomez say, Hayley B was a fucking bitch, you know, even though I know she probably wouldn't, but, like, I want to be messy. I want to dance on the table with them. I want to take shots with them, you know. I just think it would be so fucking fun. And then, you know what I would fucking do? And I'm so sorry, girl, but... I would just love to be around Travis. I mean, he is just such a daddy. I mean, honestly, girl, he is a daddy fucking bear. I mean, that man is just so gorgeous. Have you seen his chest? Taylor Swift is one lucky girl, bitch. Just imagine you being Taylor Swift, you know, out being tipsy with your girls, having fun, then stopping by 7-Eleven, getting a pizza or wherever you wanna get a fucking pizza, and then you go home, you open that room door, and then you see that giant just in your bed waiting for you, girl. You know what I mean? You're still fucking tipsy, so you start dancing, you know, and she's like, look what you made me do. Look what you made me do. And he's like, yeah, mama slay, mama slay. Oh, girl, the things I would do to clone Taylor Swift or, or just be Taylor. I would just want to be Taylor Swift for a day, bitch, because, oh, girl, the things I would do, bitch, I would end up pregnant. And, I, girl, listen, I can't. Also, I really think that... It's so funny because Taylor in her Time magazine called out Kim Kardashian. And we all know the relationship between Selena and the Jenner Kardashians. And it's so fucking hilarious that like both best friends have, you know, some kind of issues with the, with this family. Not only that, but they also have that one friend in common, which is Gigi Hadid, who's friends with all of them. I wonder what Gigi feels about this. And you know what's so funny? I read somewhere that back in the day, like years ago, when um, the Kardashians were, you know, they were popping, but they weren't like popping, popping, um, that allegedly Kris Jenner really wanted Selena Gomez to appear in the Kardashians. Because, you know, Selena, she went to Coachella with Kylie and with Kendall, right? I'm pretty sure I've seen a picture of this. Hang on. Now I'm curious. Let, let's go Google this together because now I'm really curious. Um... But yeah, you know what, what, what is so funny is like this family, right? Hang on. Selena Gomez, Coachella. Yeah, and Kylie was with like blue hair. Yeah, here she is. She's right in the middle. That's Kendall, that's Kylie, and that's Selena in the middle. So they were, you know, they had their, their friendship. You know what I mean? And I think, hang on. Is it? There you go. That's them. So I think it's, I think it's, I think it's really funny that, you know, uh, Taylor and, and, and Selena both have shared so much and they both have gone through so much and they both have, they both have had to live through public scrutiny, through cancellations, through all of this. So I think that they're really good together. And do I think that Taylor Swift cleans up Selena's messes? No, because that's what the narrative now is, is, is like going that Selena only calls Taylor when she's in trouble. And I just think that's such a low blow because, you know, Look, we can spill tea all day, okay, bitch? And we do. We love to spill tea here and we love to be messy. But at the same time, I feel like we're not there. Like, we are not, you know, in, we're not fucking Casper the Friendly Ghost, bitch. You know, we're not in there. You know, look, I've, I've said many times that I wish I can go undercover as a waiter or the hostess or somebody who, you know, on all of these bougie restaurants because the tea that these people are hearing, like, firsthand is incredible. Like, the things I would do to to be able to just like be in that environment, just be like, hi, can I can I get can I get what do you, do you ladies know what you're getting? <laughs> and then I would like go into the other table and hide underneath, you know, and just grab my phone. No, I'm just kidding. I would never do that. But um, no, you know, I I think it's so funny because look, we all have we all have. We all have our moments, you know, and I don't think Selena should get judged by this one. I don't think she did anything wrong, to be honest. I, I don't think that her defending herself for the first time is 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 doing that. And I've seen a lot of her fans actually say that they're tired of her and that, you know, that she's going through stuff and, and everything. I'm just like, 
how how are we diagnosing her? Like people are saying she had a manic episode and stuff, and people are like, thank God she met with Taylor Swift and stuff. I can just imagine at that dinner table, Taylor's like, yes, mama slay. Like it is about fucking time you enter your reputation era, okay? It's about time that you fucking say, look what you made me do. Look what you made me do. Look what you just made me do. Look what you just made me, ooh. You know what I mean? Like enter that era, girl. And I think in 2024, we should all enter our reputation era. We should all enter an era where we just don't give a fuck. We don't give a flying mother fucking fuck about anything okay bitch and we just have to go and do us and be free and just say you know what girl if you don't like me that's fine you don't have to love me you don't even have to like me but you will respect me okay and that's point blank period so listen i don't think that nobody's saving anybody here i think that there are just two very best friends soulmates who love and care for one another who are there for one another and who will tell each other the truths in their face and I think that it's fabulous. And again, I don't think that Taylor Swift saved anything because I don't think Selena Gomez did anything wrong. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. And I hope you have a fabulous Saturday and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Best friend, could you just imagine a girl's night with these two? I mean, the things, the things I feel like they do. Like, listen, just imagine getting tipsy with Taylor and with Selena. But not only that, girl, but imagine being so fucking lucky to be able to be Taylor Swift, you know, have fun with the girls, you know, get a little tips, you know, listen to some Nicki Minaj or some, you know, whoever they want to fucking listen to, and then get some pizza because, girl, you know, you need to eat something afterwards, but then you come home to this. Best friend, I will climb on that man like if I was a professional climber climbing fucking Mount Everest, bitch. Just imagine getting home tipsy and seeing this Daddy bear in the damn bed waiting for you, bitch. You have vodka bread, pizza sauce, but then you climb on that like, oh, girl, yeah. Damn. I mean, listen, if I could do like a Freaky Friday moment, you know, and switch with Taylor. So if you think, there's two things I would do, bitch. I would Venmo myself a lot of shit ton of money and I'd get myself fucking pregnant. <laughs> like, I, I was, girl, I wouldn't be able to do anything else, bitch. Seriously, I'd be, I'd, I'd be pregnant. It's 34 weeks. Like, I'm sorry, I can't. By the way, girl, mama, mama queen over here, she slayed. I mean, look at this. She is fucking gorgeous. Yes, mama slay. I mean, she said, who, 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 who had a nervous breakdown? Who had a manic episode? Who, who, all these fucking rumors. No, you know what? She finally stood up for herself and she put the haters to sleep, honey, okay? She was not drunk. She was not hacked. She was not nothing. She is entering her reputation era, okay? She's entering her, ooh, look what you made me do. Look what you made me do. Look what you just made me do. Look what you just made me, ooh, okay? And I feel like in 2024, bitch, we should all enter our look what you made us do era, okay, bitch? Selena Gomez, you slay. And Taylor, girl, ooh, 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 ooh. Anyways, girl, make sure to hit that follow button for more messy tea.